डेट में हम लोगों को जो सबको समझ में आता है एंड विच इज नॉर्मली अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट इन्फॉर्मेशन इज है विच इज अ डेट म्यूचुअल फंड म्यूचुअल फंड में वी हैव एन ऑप्शन ऑफ इक्विटी प्योर इक्विटी देर इज एन ऑप्शन ऑफ प्योर डेट एंड देर इज अ थर्ड ऑप्शन विच इज हाइब्रिड इधर इट कुड भी इक्विटी ओरिएंटेड और इट कुड भी डेट ओरिएंटेड अब एक और ऑप्शन है विच इज बॉन्ड्स तो डेट इंस्ट्रूमेंट में बॉन्ड्स जो है विच इज लेस डिस्कस एंड लेस अंडरस्टूड इज समथिंग दैट वी वॉन्ट टू कवर आई थिंक जी सर सो दिस स्टार्टेड विद दी गवर्नमेंट इशूइंग टैक्स फ्री बॉन्ड्स इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन एवरी ईयर दे बीन इशूइंग टैक्स फ्री बॉन्ड्स ऑफ क्लोज टू फोर्टी थाउजेंड क्रोर्स इशूड बाय कंपनीज ओन्ड बाय गवर्नमेंट लाइक एन एच ए आई आर ई सी पी एफ सी एन टी पी सी ये सारी गवर्नमेंट ओन्ड अच्छी कंडीशन वाली कंपनियाँ हैं जिनको टेन ईयर फिफ्टीन ईयर ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऐसे तीन ड्यूरेशन वाले बॉन्ड्स इशू करना लाओ के दे दे वर अ गोल्ड माइन फॉर इन्वेस्टर्स ऑल दोज हु एक्चुअली ऑप्टेड फॉर दोज टैक्स फ्री बॉन्ड्स इट वॉज अ गोल्ड माइन वाई इट वॉज अ गोल्ड माइन बिकॉज द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फेल आफ्टर दैट सो टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन फेब्रुवरी वी हैड हुड को एट नाइन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाइन पॉइंट जीरो वन नाइन पॉइंट जीरो वन टैक्स फ्री सो इफ यूर इन थर्टी परसेंट टैक्स लैब विच इफेक्टिवली मीन्स अबाउट थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट इज टू बी पेड योर प्री टैक्स इल्ड कम्स टू अबाउट ट्वेल्व नाइन्टी फाइव 12.95 पॉइंट नाइन फाइव अर्निंग फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट फॉर नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स गोल्ड माइन है एंड दीज ऑल बॉन्ड्स आर कोटेड ऑन द मार्केट्स बॉन्ड्स टिपिकली मूव अप वेन द मार्केट द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट गोज डाउन सो नॉर्मली द रेशो इज दैट एवरी वन परसेंट रेट कट बाय आर बी आई यू यू विल हैव अबाउट फोर टू फाइव परसेंट रैली इन द बॉन्ड्स सो इन लास्ट टू थ्री ईयर्स देर इज बीन सब्सिक्वेंट रेट कट्स Plus, there have been some relaxation of FII investment into debt, which has further increased the inflow in debt, and that is why also the Hudco, which I am talking about, with a face value of thousand, was issued in February 2013, is quoting at 1400 rupees now. Plus, 9.01 percent tax-free interest you are getting. This is 40 percent is the appreciation which over and above you've got. even today if you compare it with an fd it is a far superior product today the the tax free bonds are quoting at a there are no new issues you have to buy them from the market if you buy them from the market your tax free yield is 6.2% today now to you it may not look very attractive because 7 7.15 to bank hi de rahi hai तो 6.2 में बॉन्ड कौन खरीदेगा वो डीमैट में आएगा ब्रोकर्स के थ्रू खरीदना पड़ेगा ये वो ऐसा नहीं है 6.2 टैक्स फ्री इज एज गुड एज 9.7 प्री टैक्स इफ यू आर इन अ 30 परसेंट टैक्स लैब आई होप एवरीबडी इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इफ देर इज एनी क्वेरी क्वेश्चन प्लीज फील फ्री टू सो सो इफ यू आर इन थर्टी परसेंट टैक्स लैब प्री टैक्स ईल्ड इज इक्वल टू नाइन पॉइंट now i want the answer is it better than a bank fd it is better than bank fd besides that these bonds are absolutely liquid any amount of interest earned on these bonds is tax free even if you buy worth 100 crores and your earning is 10 crores per annum out of tax free bonds interest it is entirely tax free there is no ceiling there second is you will not get an fd for 20 years but here in bond you get commitment for 20 years why it sounds more attractive because by and large all of us would have uh, consensus that the long term interest rate are in downward trajectory they may not go down but they will certainly not go up this is by far 98% of the economists have this feeling short term blips may be there a little bit of uh, fed rate hike in us and a little bit of inflationary pressure may see a 0.25 basis point upward but by and large people are convinced that interest rates may go down and may not go up so in this 
scenario, whatever you were doing in last four years, every year you were renewing your FD at a 0.5% or a 0.75% lower rate of interest. And the FD which you started at 9.5 probably three years back or four years back, this year you renewed for 7.15 or 7%. So with every passage of year, my earning is going down. In case of 20 years bond, I have a commitment of that return for next 20 years. So no matter where the interest rates go, I will continue to earn that kind of return. Last is, they are listed instruments. So there is no restriction on when you can encash. They are absolutely liquid. Any amount, the bonds market have about 20,000 crore uh, volume every day. So these bonds are absolutely liquid. And you can realize 40, uh, your money within 48 hours. And the uh, uh, most important point is, uh, FDs will not appreciate. Bonds with every 1% rate cut from RBI will appreciate by 4 to 5%. So all these uh, 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 characteristics make tax-free bonds a far superior instrument compared to a bank FD or any other debt instrument that is available. Now when we move out of tax-free bond, there is a whole lot of variety available in taxable bonds also. So if you look at the markets today, you have IDBI, you have Bank of India, you have UCO, SBI, uh, HDFC, Yes Bank. Saro ke bonds aapko milte hain and they are available at a 9 to 10.5 percent yield. IDBI mein, irony dekhiya, IDBI mein ja ke aap agar abhi FD karte hain, to your FD return is 7.15. Or IDBI bank ka bond lete to the yield is 10 percent. The only thing is that not too many of us know about it and some of us are scared about the safety. Why will the price go up? The price will not go up, it will not go up, it will So I'll address both the issues, safety as well as the price. These are the two concerns normally in the mind of the people. So all those who bought bonds in last four years are sitting on a minimum 10 and maximum 45% kind of a appreciation besides the return that they have got. But this is a past scenario and interest cycles do have a tendency to change. And if they change and they go against me, one scenario is the good scenario that they continue to go down and anybody who is investing in bonds today will also get 40-45% kind of an appreciation in next four years. This is a positive kind of a scenario that may happen and all of us would be happy to be in that scenario. So this is one aspect, positive aspect. What is the negative aspect? The negative is, suppose 98% of people are saying interest rate flat, they will go down, they will go down, they will go down, they will go down, और 2% परसेंट लोग जो बोल रहे हैं कि नहीं वापस से यूएस के साथ हमारे भी इंटरेस्ट रेट ऊपर जा सकते हैं या कॉपोरेट लोन की डिमांड इंप्रूव होगी तो रेट ऊपर जाएगा ऐसे कुछ है क्वेश्चन मान लो वो 2% सही भी हो गए और वट एवर बॉन्ड्स वी बॉट टूडे स्टार्ट कोटिंग एट अ फोर परसेंट डिस्काउंट मेरा हंड्रेड रुपीज का बॉन्ड मान लीजिए नाइन्टी सिक्स रुपीज हो गया ना आई हैव बॉट the bond with an intention to hold it for next five years. Five years ki maturity hai maan lije. So at the end of the five years I'll get my principal amount. So aaj wo 96 quote kar raha ho ya 92 quote kar raha ho, mere ko kya lena hai dena hai? I am not in a loss. I don't have to look at the price. All I have, I am interested is ki 10.25% jo mere ko return ara hai, wo saal ka aate rena chihe. It will affect me only in the case when I require money in between before maturity and I go and sell them in the market. And that too to what extent it will affect me. Suppose after three years I require money and I go and sell it in the bond market which is 
four percent lower than the cost price. So I will lose four percent of the capital. But in these three years, the three percent differential on the FD rate to the bond rate, multiplied by three years, is nine percent. I have already gained extra nine percent. Compared to a fixed deposit, उसमें से चार परसेंट गया भी, वो भी उस eventuality में कि मेरे को बहुत जरूरत है पैसे की और मेरे को bond बेचने पड़ रहे हैं। तो ठीक है ना? Still I will be five percent plus than a bank FD. And these bonds are held in DMAT. Any amount you hold, there is no TDS. The income tax law says that all these bonds held in DMAT mode. Even if you hold them 100 crores ka, 10 crores bhi aapke dividend interest aa raha hai, there is no TDS. And on the due date, these banks transfer the interest to your bank account mapped with your DMAT account by NEFT. Now I'll address the second issue of security. So there are a variety of bonds. The more clarity and safety you want, the more you will have to sacrifice your return. So optimally, where does the role of an expert comes in is that you optimize the risk as well as the return. I will go to that level where I will not lose my money and get the return at the optimum. You see, if I, if, if I say that I want my money to be in a place as safe as an RBI, then my rate of return is 8%, 7%. Government securities are quoted at 6.6%. That option is also available. But now you have to decide, take a calculated risk and get into the better earning. Now how? So you have an SBI bond which quotes at a 0.5 or 0.6% higher yield than the SBI fixed deposit. So by SBI fixed deposit at 6.75 right now, so the bond will be available at 7.25%. So there are other AAA rated like a Reliance Industries or an HDFC Limited or uh, a lot of PSU, uh, ONGC, these bonds are also available. So they are AAA, their rating is done of the uh, credit rating by Crisil and Ikra and Brickwork. And if you opt for a AAA rated paper, which is highest safety, then your yield will be somewhere between 7.25 and optimally to 9.25. Now what we have to assess is that am I in love with the name SBI? or am I okay with another AAA rated paper which is endorsed to have the same amount of safety which an SBI paper is supposed to have but is also offering me 9% yield. This is what I call the calculated risk you have to take. If I say, I don't have a good sleep in SBI, then you have to give a good sleep in SBI and you have to give a good sleep in SBI and you have to give a good sleep in SBI. Practically, you are ready to think that one AAA rated paper is another AAA rated paper, but one is called SBI and the other is not called SBI. So, can I venture into that and still have a sound sleep? If I can have a sound sleep in another AAA rated paper, then you have an option of 9.25%. If I go to AA paper, if I go to AA paper, I have a lot of comfort in Piramal Enterprises, a AA rated paper. Piramal, I know that money is even safer than a triple A rated other paper, there is no problem. There my return is 9.75%. Now there is one more category of bonds which are available in the market and are known as perpetual bonds. And these are issued by all the PSU banks, most of the PSU banks. Let's syndicate bank, ho gaya, IDBI, ho gaya, UCO, ho gaya, uh, all, all PSU banks have their issue. Bank of India hai. So all PSU banks have their perpetual bonds. And they are available at 10.25 to 11% yield. Syndicate bank ka FD saath pandra ka hai. Syndicate bank ka perpetual bond sawa dhas se gyara ke beech mein milta hai. 
ना द प्रपोजिशन इज इंटरेस्टिंग समझना तो चाहिए कि ये क्या है मामला अब इसमें दो क्लासेस हैं इनके विच मेक्स देम अवेलेबल फॉर ऑफरिंग अ बेटर ईल्ड इन केस ऑफ पर्पेचुअल बॉन्ड्स वन देर इज नो डिफाइंड मेच्योरिटी एवरी फाइव ईयर द बैंक हैज एन ऑप्शन आइदर टू रिडीम और कंटिन्यू फॉर अनदर फाइव ईयर्स तो हमारे पास या तो बैंक ने नहीं मांगा तो मार्केट एक ऑप्शन है बेच के एग्जिट करना और दूसरी साइड ये भी हो सकती है कि मैं एग्जिट क्यों करना चाहता हूं मेरे को सवा दस परसेंट का सिंडिकेट बैंक का मिलता है तो बैंक वापस ना मांगे ये ज्यादा अच्छा है मेरे लिए मेरे को पंद्रह साल तक सवा दस परसेंट चलता है ये अनसर्टेनिटी एक है कि इसकी डिफाइंड मेच्योरिटी नहीं है एंड इट इज अप टू द बैंक टू कॉल द पेपर एंड गिव द मनी बैक दिस इज वन रीजन सेकेंड सेफ्टी रीजन इट इज सबॉर्डिनेट टू फिक्स डिपॉजिट बैंक फिक्स डिपॉजिट इनकेस अ बैंक गोज इन टू लिक्विडेशन देन इन दैट केस फिक्स डिपॉजिट होल्डर्स विल बी पेड फर्स्ट एंड बॉर्न होल्डर्स विल बी पेड नेक्स्ट यू हैव अ क्वेश्चन कुछ क्वेश्चन है आप पूछना चाहते हैं no no that is you are talking about a scenario when in liquidation there is no money left then the deposit insurance corporation will pay 1 lakh rupees to each deposit holder because that bank has insured the deposit up to 1 lakh rupees And, uh, but if there is money left if there is money fixed deposit holders will get full money okay. what is the case of uh, bonds After all the fixed depositors are paid, if there is residual money, then the bond holders will be paid. These perpetual bond holders. So they are one step below the fixed deposit holders. Now I have to calculate and take the risk. सबसे पहली बात कि will govern will a PSU bank default on interest number one. सिंडिकेट बैंक आईडीबीआई बैंक ये सब विल द डिफॉल्ट ऑन इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट लॉजिकली द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट कम्स टू माइंड इज कांट हैपन एंड देर आर सेट ऑफ रीजन फॉर दैट वाई इट कांट हैपन गवर्नमेंट इज प्लानिंग टू इन्फ्यूज फोर लैख करोड़ रुपीज एज इक्विटी इन दीज बैंक इन नेक्स्ट थ्री ईयर्स नो वेयर गवर्नमेंट इज प्लानिंग टू इन्फ्यूज इक्विटी ऑफ फोर लैख करोर्स विल इट अलाउ एनी ऑफ इट्स बैंक टू डिफॉल्ट फॉर फिफ्टी करोड़ इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट टिपिकली दीज बॉन्ड इश्यूज आर ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ टेन परसेंट की कॉस्ट पकड़ी आपने तो पचास पचपन करोड़ रुपए साल की लाइबिलिटी है उसकी इंटरेस्ट आउट पेमेंट आउट गो की विल एंड कैन गवर्नमेंट अफोर्ड एनी ऑफ द पी एस यू बैंक टू डिफॉल्ट एंड वन डिफॉल्ट मीन्स पूरे बैंकिंग सिस्टम में सुनामी आ जाएगा अगले दिन हर पी एस यू बैंक के सामने लाइन लगी रहेगी हमारे डिपोजिट के पैसे वापस चाहिए सो गवर्नमेंट के नॉट अलाउ दैट this thought primarily comes because since last 4 or 5 years the psu banks are going through an N serious serious npa issue where their capital is eroding their reserves are eroding and that is why one may have question mark on the balance sheet and the strength of the bank in terms of fulfilling or servicing the debt so first reason psu bank government can't afford it i mean i don't know whether the bank would be in good shape or not the first thing is government can't afford it second if you last see la, history of last 35 years the primary re requirement for default in case of these bonds is that there is one ratio crar that ratio ideally is around 12% when it dips below 8% then the bank can think about postponing the interest payment and if it dips below 4 and 1/2% then the bank will default on even principal payment now in last 35 years of history 
government has never allowed forget about a psu bank even a private bank like global trust bank to go below 7 7 and a half percent the moment crar dips below that rbi forces that bank to be merged into some other bank so there is no loss of depositors money so keeping this history in mind i will presume that in future also there is very less probability of these banks defaulting and government not intervening so all these circumstances tell me that probably these bonds in spite of offering me higher rate of interest close to 10 and a half percent they seem to be safe and that is why to a certain extent in your debt portfolio you can replace your bank deposits comfortably with these bonds yeah नहीं सर आपको कोई दस साल पुरानी बात कर रहे हो आजकल कहाँ सुनते फ्लेक्सी बॉन्ड टू थाउजेंड फोर टू थाउजेंड फोर फाइव इंडियन आर बी आई एन 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 सिक्योरिटीज एंड एक्सचेंज बोर्ड बैंड डीप डिस्काउंट बॉन्ड्स एंड फ्लेक्सी बॉन्ड्स डीप डिस्काउंट बॉन्ड्स आर द बॉन्ड्स वेयर देर इज नो इंटरेस्ट आउट गो एंड दे एक्यूमुलेट देर सो दे वर सोल्ड as discount bonds and it actually made lot of uh, loss in form of less tax to the government because that was considered as long term capital gain otherwise har saal interest accrual basis pe you have to pay your income tax so government has banned those flexi bonds and uh, omni bonds and uh, deep discount bonds you will not find any instrument issued in last 10 years which has cumulative uh, uh, kind of interest uh, accumulation in the bonds aap agar bank mein bhi agar cumulative fd lete ho still you will have to show your interest income on accrual basis not on received basis to bonds wo waise aate hi nahi hai ab aur koi question hai is it i 